So this deck up here was a uh, cause for a lot of fuss with uh, my friends and my, my dad. This used to all be grass and we used to have a trampoline. Really nice gift from my parents. And the trampoline was always set up over like near the fence, you know. Whenever my parents would be out of, out of town or when they, wouldn't be, when they wouldn't be home, we'd move the trampoline, a couple friends of mine, right over here to the edge of the deck. And we would hop up on this baby and we would just jump down and just get sweet air. Getting injured doesn't cross your mind once. When you're young and dumb, do you think about that stuff? Never. I came home one day and I'm driving down the street. I saw Scott Williamson, who is real good friends of ours, and I saw his head pop up over the roof. And I went, what was that? I think, I think that's the day he, uh, he started to uh, get really scared of you. I didn't ground he or his brother. I just dismantled the, Tr the dismantling trampoline. The trampoline was worse. That was the it worst was, thing he could have done. Huge punishment. Come on, Mace. So like, say probably half of this, con like from the concrete to the house, probably half of it was just a wooden deck. So this, my dad redid all this, built all this. The rest of the backyard was just all grass. I mean, we just had so much room to play and that was, I mean, that's where we were outside all the time. For one of my birthdays, my dad just got basically, he got a, a whole petting zoo to just come and into the backyard. I really started freaking out because these were six, seven year old boys and girls and they brought out a cougar. Here I was thinking, okay, go have a goat, maybe a spider, and we had a cougar in our backyard. The goal was about, probably about right here. So as you can imagine, we would just kick the ball all the time and I mean, our neighbors, thank God they're great people, but they, uh, I think they were getting pretty annoyed with us. So they would be like, listen, just come around, you can go through, but us being dumb, we would clearly jump the fence all the time and go get it. But uh, it was great, because we had the goal over here, we had the, we had like this wooden swing set with like monkey bars and stuff. So that was one goal. This, we had our goal over here, so it was basically just a bigger version of our game that we used to play indoors, just outside with a ball and a real ball and not a pillow. There was just so much space and, I mean, that's the one thing, you know, like living in New York City and Jersey and, I mean, the space is just so, you take it for granted. It's so nice to have the space to be able to kick it around and run around back and forth. It worked out really good.